Hello all, Dominic Trofer here, welcome to another video. Before I start, I just want to say I hope you had a great weekend. I uh, hope everything has been going well for you overall. And I hope this week so far is going good for you all. Um, for myself, um, last week um, was a lot better than the previous week due to, you know, the family crisis and stuff. But ever since then, a lot of things, you know, have become a lot of, a lot better. Um, things have improved for the best, you know, since then and stuff. So I'm happy about that and my rest of the family are also happy about that, which is really, really good for us. Uh, cause it's all, it's really, really bad when that sort of stuff happens. So this video is going to be about um, my school choir experience. Um, this is something I did announce last year and stuff. And I thought, you know what? Ever since, you know, making my schedule plan for uh, future videos, um, this is something I want to share and just talk about, so I do. So, the thing about it was, um, you might be thinking, what made me join a school choir? Now, the reason why I joined a school choir was because I always loved singing and stuff and listening to music and stuff. And when I was younger, my mother used to have, you know, uh, cassettes on, uh, CDs on, uh, on, on the stereo and stuff. And it just used to be really, really good. Um... Um, I used to used to watch, you know, a lot of music videos when they used to do that on television. Um, and uh, I just liked it and stuff. It was just something that always got me excited. Like, yes, you know, this is really, really good and just, just fun and all that sort of stuff. And um, I first actually joined when I was at primary school. Um, I uh, joined it when I was in year four. So I did. And I was there for the, uh, for the next two years. So I was there for in year four, year five, and year six. Um, so what we did was we usually um, just sang during mass. Uh, and we sometimes even had stage performances as well, uh, so we did, which was really, really good. And if you're curious, um, I am religious. Um, sometimes, you know what I mean, uh, uh, we did do it, we did sing when we were at church, or sometimes we did it um, during a school mass, so we did, which was really, really fun and stuff. Um, just enjoyed it and had fun overall, uh, um, so yeah, it was really, really good. Then, obviously did that, you know, all, all the way until year six, and then when I went to secondary school, when I was in year seven, I, um, I joined the school choir, so I did, and the way it worked was that, um, we were line, we were like, we were told to line up, and the, uh, choir teacher, would tell us to sort of sing a note. So it's not like um, either a high or, well, obviously when you're, you you know, you're a lot, lot younger, you sing high, and then obviously when you get older, you, you start to sing a lot lower, so you do. And we were told to do a to, a, to do a high note, and if we could do that, we could, you know, we were in the choir, but if you were, if you couldn't do that, you, you couldn't join, you know what I mean? And um, obviously for me, I joined, and I was there every day, um, all the way until year 11. Um, I attended every single session. Uh, there was only one time when we did not have a, a, um, a choir class on, um, and that was actually when it got cancelled, so it did. Which, yeah, it was a shame, though, but I did, you know, join. I, w I did attend every single choir session that, w you know, that, that we had and stuff. I never, ever missed one, um, unlike a lot of people that missed a lot of sessions, so I did. Um... So, after that, you know, we, you know, we, like I said, you know, we were singing, you know, doing a lot of singing, um, and just did all sorts of really, really, you know, good stuff, and it was just exciting. Um, at first we did do a lot of school performances, so we did, which was really, really good, and, um, over the, the years and stuff, being at secondary school, um, we did go on a few field trips that were really, really exciting. Um, one of them that, um, I loved to bits was when we were actually on uh, inside the Royal Albert Hall in London and this was back in April 2008 and it was just incredible for the experience that we actually got to sing to, to actually sing on the Royal Albert Hall it just it was just it was sort of undescribable just it was just a fantastic moment it really really was and we just I, I could not believe it like sort of Thinking back then, like even looking back at now, it's like, it's just sort of incredible. And that's one of the things that, you know, my family are really, really proud of me doing. Like 
you know, to be in the choir and, you know, to be in that Royal Albert Hall, it's just fantastic. That building is bloody fantastic, beautiful. It really, really is. Uh, the style of it, it's, it's nice and stuff. Obviously, it's been over 10 years, almost 11 in, in next month, since I was last in there. But I don't, I don't know if anything's really changed in there. But again, it was so fantastic. It really, really was. And then in September 2010, we actually went to Birmingham. So we did to sing to the Pope, who was, um, I think it was Pope Benedict XVI. I think it was. Um, I, f I think it was actually him. I'm not entirely sure. Obviously, this was long before Pope Francis, our current Pope. I think, I think it was Benedict the Sixteenth. So it was. And um, again, that was another fantastic experience, you know, to do as well. You know, to, you know, to be in the choir and, you know, to, to do that and stuff and to, to sing to hundreds of thousands of people. Just fantastic. It, again, something I love to look back at and I just loved it. Really, really did. And um, it, it, it was just incredible. It really, really was. And um, do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. You know what I mean? That. I did so much, so many amazing things, um, you know, back then, especially with the, the choir and stuff. And that's why I always say to my family is that even during the struggles of me, you know, um, with my autism, um, because during that time, you know, my family kept trying to find out what, what was making me tick and stuff. But I'd say even, you know what I mean? Even looking past that, I still did a lot of fantastic things and it just, just amazing it really really was and I love looking back I really really do and one thing is obviously when I was at school when I was at secondary school um I did get a lot of bullying like a lot of people and stuff where I did get mocked for being in the choir so I did and even though with all that that rubbish from the other students it never stopped me it never never stopped me going to those choir sessions why because it was something that I was flipping passionate about I loved it I really really did and you know what I mean I, like I said nothing like that ever ever stopped me and it just you know what I mean I, I love it and stuff it, it's it's a great thing to have and that's just how it goes that even if you go you know I have problems you go through life with all these bloody problems and stuff everyone has at least accomplished some great things they really really have for example my mother, she's someone that always believes that she never properly accomplished anything. But I've always said that she has. You know what I mean? She and even my sister went through the struggles of getting me diagnosed. Took my family, well, most of my mother and my sister, six years to get me diagnosed. I actually got diagnosed of having autism on the 17th of, Jul uh, 17th of January, 2011, I was 16 at the time. And Sorry, no, 15. I was 15. Um, I was 15 at the time. And I always say that it's, that's one of the biggest accomplishments that my mother has ever made. I always said that. I always say that. And I said it to her last year, and she's just started getting emotional. Not crying like it's a bad thing, crying because it's a good thing and that she's proud of that she really really is and i bloody thank my mother for that i really really do yeah like all families we all we all have our little you know little moans like eh, eh, doing this doing that but you know what i mean as family you know what i mean we we love each other and that's just the way it goes we all have our little um you know problem problems but that's just how it goes it really, really is. So at least everyone has accomplished something. You might think you haven't, but you have. When I first became unemployed, back in 2013, June 2013, I felt like I didn't accomplish anything. But without properly thinking it, I knew that. You know, being in the choir, you know, on, on the Royal Albert Hall, singing to the Pope in Birmingham, Stuff that I've accomplished. Struggles and everything. Even through school. And it's something I will love looking back at. I really, really do. And something else that I didn't do. That was something singing related. 
<coughs> was um, with the school, I went to Lowards in France. I went there twice. Uh, first time in, in 2011 and the first, second time in 2012. And no, uh, sorry, no, uh, first time, yeah, first time was in 2012, and the second time was 2013, and I loved it, I really, really did love it, it was fantastic, it might have been 2011, but apart from that, um, and we did a bit of singing there as well, during, you know, masses, it was really, really good. I decided to lead, but <laughs> for our group, but I didn't mind that. You know what I mean? Because I was the only one who, um, at that point, had been in in a school choir or technically was still in the choir. Um, it was really, really good. You know, we did all sorts there. You know what I mean? We're helping. I remember we were helping um, disabled people in wheelchairs, bringing them around to places and stuff. Um, it was difficult, you know what I mean, but it was a, it was it was an interesting experience. And this was, you know what I mean, around the time when I found out that I was autistic um and disabled as well, mentally disabled. Um it was it it was um hard work but it was it was tough. I remember um when we when we were in Lords because it was it was a pilgrimage, um, a religious pilgrimage. Uh, I remember one time we um, we one day we did because we always started at seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, we had to get up quite early to get ready and all that sort of stuff and help people and do all sorts of stuff. And I remember one time we did it there. Um, we started at seven o'clock and we didn't finish until two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was it was hard work. It really, really was. Um, but apart from that, all all that hard work, it was a very interesting experience. It did get a bit emotional, but it was really, really good, and I loved it. I really, really did. Just fantastic and stuff. Um, and again, I, did, I went the following year. Originally, I wasn't going to be going, but it turned out the school really, really wanted me to go. So they actually put half towards um, me going. So they did half. They put half the money towards it, which was bloody great, you know what I mean? It was really, really good, and uh, again, I loved it. Great singing, you know what I mean? Um, helping people out, meeting, you know, interesting people. It was really, really good, and I loved it. I really, really do. Well, I did, I mean. I, did. I really, really loved it. It was, it was fantastic. It really, really was. And, um, yeah, it's. It, I love looking back at it, you know, the choir... Um, you know, being in, on the Royal Albert Hall, singing to the Pope in Birmingham uh, with a choir, and even, you know, attending masses, helping people in Lowards, you know what I mean? It's uh, it's nice looking back. It really, really is. And, yeah, I wanted to, you know, share my thoughts about, well, um, share my experience about this and just have a bit of a, you know, talk about talk about it, so I do. So I did. Um, something new, something exciting, something positive something to really find out what you know things Dominic Chofa did you know what I mean and um I'm glad to you know make this video and share it to all of you so I just want to say uh, thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it really interesting as well um you know what I mean you might think you really I never knew that that's really interesting to know that so, so it is so I just want to say thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed this video um Alex will be back Alex will be back on um Friday, so it will be, and I've also got my Q and A video uh, on Saturday. So I hope you do look forward to that. I will look, I will look forward to answering your questions and stuff, and um, seeing what you give me. That's all I can say, really. So I just want to say thank you all for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your week.